Men and women across the country have given up time with their families to protect our country from across the globe. One local organization is currently honoring veterans of World War II. This morning with us, we are very happy to have World War II veteran Bob Foster and Kat Lipska of Honor Flight Northeast Indiana. Thank you so much for coming in Good this morning. morning. Thank you for having us. Well, looking at the video, I mean, every year, it's just so touching to see veterans like Bob experience this once-in-a-lifetime journey. Some people don't get to experience it. So, um, Kat, talk about what the Honor Flight program is all about. Give us an overview. Sure. It's a, it's a national program that was started in 2004 um, by a gentleman who was working at a VA hospital, and he was hearing some of the veterans, the World War II veterans, come in and talk about their memorial, but they haven't been able to see it. So he started this program to um, fly them out there, and since then it's grown, and we have a hub here in uh, Fort Wayne. It's called Honor Flight Northeast Indiana, mm -hmm. and it's uh, 501C3, and we, um, it, our sole mission is to just fly veterans out to their memorial to be able to view it and to reflect and uh, just to have a wonderful day. Now, Bob, you were awarded the Purple Heart and Bronze Star Yes, sir. What is it like to be celebrated for your, your serving our country? Well, I, uh, I can't quite understand it. It's, it's, it's nothing that I did. It recorded I was put in a position to do something, and I executed my duties I was taught to do. And you went on Honor Flight, the latest, Honor Flight number 11, yes. with our news director, Ted Lynn. Yes. What was that like for you? Well, I tell you, it was a wonderful experience. I... It was beyond, I, I didn't really realize what was going on. I was a little dumbfounded. But when I met a man like that, and we both had the same faith, we could talk back and forth and not, no arguments, no place. Mm -hmm. And he seen through me, and he seen something that I didn't see. Is that something that you ever thought you would be able to do before this program? I mean, so many years ago. No, I never thought I'd ever, because I was never a nobody. I was always trying to be a homemaker. My dad told me when I was a kid, when you get old enough, get a job, go to work. <laughs> That's all I ever did was work. Well, you're very humble. We thank you very much for your service. Well. Um, now, right now, the Honor Flight's focus has been on World War II veterans, but other veterans are welcome, I assume, correct? Absolutely. We're accepting applications for Korean veterans and any uh, veteran that's terminally ill. Um, and they can download the, the application from our website, they can mail it to us, um, and they can give us a call and get an application if they want it that way as well. Now, how can people um, volunteer if they just want to be part of the program itself? Um, well, we do have volunteer opportunities from time to time. Um, our website is currently under some mild construction, okay. so, but we hope to have a tab up just for volunteers um, coming shortly. So they'll, they'll be listed there on our website. Pleasure to meet you both. Thank you so much for thank coming you. in. And thank you so much for your service, Bob. Well, it was because it's in our family to help others. Mm -hmm. My dad was in the First World War. Now, I might add this. My father was scheduled to be a baseball player. He was taken right out of high school, signed up for the Detroit Tigers. But the war come along, mm -hmm. 1914, and he volunteered. Oh, he, he volunteered. He went to France, and he was hurt. He paid a price, and he died early, 1952. But so. my dad was... Highly educated, I mean self-educated, but yet he loved the country too. Mm -hmm. You know, our f forefathers come from Scotland and Ireland. So sorry for your loss. And uh, they lived in Van Wert, and that's where my dad was. He had an opportunity of a lifetime, but he gave it up to help his country. Did you think about your dad while you were there on this past? Yeah. And uh, I did it too. This is why the greatest generation right I now. Was, I was deferred the place I worked because I worked for the government. I was a student engineer at the General Electric Company. And I helped design gun pointers for the Navy. But it got to the place where I said, Mom, I got to go. Yeah. 
thank you so much for your for your service. Yes, well, An honor meeting you. If you are interested in signing up a veteran, sponsoring, or volunteering, here are the details. You can head to hfnei.org for all the information you need. You can also call 633-0049. And the upcoming honor flights will be April 30th and May 28th. Honor flight representatives will also be at the Home and Garden Show with the Wayne TV booth on February 27th and 28th. Thank you so much again, and we'll be right back.